In this video, we explain how to configure RAID and how to create a virtual disk using the device settings on the 13th generation PowerEdge server. Since the boot mode on the 13th generation PowerEdge server is UEFI, the conventional way to access the RAID BIOS using Ctrl-R cannot be used. To configure a virtual disk, press the F2 key during POST and launch the System Startup menu. Alternatively, you can press the F10 key during POST and select System Setup and then Hardware Settings from the Lifecycle Controller menu. Once the system setup is shown, select Device Settings. In the Device Settings menu, select your RAID controller. In the RAID controller configuration utility, select Main Menu. In the Main Menu, select Configuration Management. In Configuration Management, we're going to select Create Virtual Disk. We can now choose the RAID type of our new virtual disk. Select your RAID level. In this example, we will choose RAID 1. Select your physical disk form, and in this example we will choose Unconfigured Capacity. The Knowledge Base article and the link in the description below will go into more detail as to what these options mean. And now click on Select Physical Disks. Choose your preferences for media type, interface type and sector size, and then select your physical disks shown below. Once everything looks correct, select Apply Changes. When the action was performed successfully, click on OK. Create a name for your virtual disk so that you can refer back to it later and double check all the rest of these settings are to your preference. If that all looks OK, click on Create Virtual Disk. Creating a virtual disk will cause all of the existing data on the hard drives to be deleted. If you are sure there's nothing on these drives you don't want to lose, then check Confirm and click on Yes. The system will now create the virtual disk and give you a message on screen when it's complete. And that's it. For more information on this topic, check out the links in the description below and check out our other videos for more handy tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.